AI is likely going to be the most powerful force over the next two decades of human evolution. We can use it to be other human characters, either real or even unreal characters. In addition to that, it can control vast amounts of data. It can solve extremely complex problems with the click of a button. However, by default, these AI algorithms and programs come with a lot of raw power, but they need to be guided. And who needs to guide them are the humans that learn the correct prompts to ask. So it's even been argued that the most valuable resource one day could be access to AI and the ability to give AI the correct prompts to accomplish the goals that the conductor of the AI wants accomplished. And oftentimes the companies that produce the AI, the top level AI agents don't even know exactly what they're capable of because there's an infinite amount of prompts that could possibly be given to it. And the engineering team on these companies that build AI can split test and test, like just stress test a lot of different types of prompts and combination of prompts, but they can't stress test all of them. That's why you hear these stories of people getting ChatGPT to instruct them on how to do illegal things, even though that's supposed to be against the rules. And people are able to outsmart the guidelines that the companies put on the AI. And really what that speaks to is people getting extremely good at learning the art of giving AI the correct prompts. I think that at some point in the future, you'll probably be able to get a PhD on prompting AI properly because as the power of AI increases exponentially, the ability to harness and direct that power is going to become more and more nuanced. There's this, it's like an analogy, but if you start with, let's say you take a boat out of, out of the dock and you put it off course by an inch. Over time, that inch is extrapolated. So once it's traveled 200 miles, you know, it's now like 50 miles off course to the left. That's the idea. So if you take that same rough analogy and apply it to AI, which imagine it can just move at the equivalent of thousands of miles an hour, if your prompt is off by a little bit, the end result of that powerful mechanism is going to be way off. And if your prompt is perfect and you harness that power perfectly, then the AI is going to be able to do exactly what you want it to do. And this is this can come down to all sorts of different applications. So I think for people watching this video, it's important to familiarize yourself with the language of AI now, because really AI is still in its infancy. These large language models are really just the beginning. And already they've just gotten past that point where they can do actually very useful things for us. They can generate videos, they can generate scripts, they can solve very complex mathematical problems, business valuations, et cetera. But that is still like the tip of the iceberg. Apple just released its new Apple intelligence. I mean, pretty soon, I predict you won't even have to open apps on your phone. You're just going to tell your phone what you want it to do. It'll open the apps that it needs to open. It will navigate within the apps and you know generate the desired outcome. And the same thing is going to happen with computing, et cetera. But what, when it starts happening, it's going to take off fast. And the people who are already trained on AI now are going to be set up in a position to take advantage of that revolution when it really takes off. It's like if we go back to the start of the internet. In the beginning, the internet was this cool tool that allowed people to communicate you know, in different countries, different cities, whatever. And then there was a shifting point where all of a sudden the internet was robust enough to actually allow businesses to scale. And then you saw companies generate billions of dollars of value very fast, the ones that were able to capitalize first. And the same thing is going to happen with AI. It already is kind of happening, but I believe we're still just really at the tip of the iceberg at the beginning. So it's absolutely not too late to build your proficiency in AI. And my message to you, the viewer, is to do that. And the beautiful thing is that like, you can't really take a college degree in AI yet. Probably one day you will be able to. So the learning is very democratized. Anyone can learn for free on YouTube videos. You can buy some affordable paid courses to learn how to use AI. You can watch videos like this. You can download ChatGPT or other models and play with it. So this video is simply a public service announcement for my viewers to familiarize yourself deeply with AI now so that as things continue to pick up, you can position yourself to profit from that pickup. That's it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you later.